Hello, I am Yet4455, and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2. So we are just playing through the, the mission, the campaign mode here, and we are probably halfway through the African Animal Empire. So that is what we're at now. We are about halfway. Um, we have six species. We have zero money, unfortunately, but hopefully that will change. As our zoo becomes more and more famous. Right. Um, did I get another onyx? I did. Awesome. Okay, guests love my zoo, so that is good. I have... Whoa. Click. Okay, there you go. Male and a female onyx. That is good. Yeah, everyone seems to be having a good time. I need to get at least up to level two, because then I'll be able to get the dancing rock. Which will take care of all the entertainment needs for the adults, because right now all I have for entertainment needs is this little bouncy for kids. Now, for obvious reasons, adults don't like bouncy rides. Well... I don't want to say for obvious reasons, but for reasons they don't like really like it too much. Right. My phone, you're really starting to annoy me. Alrighty. So yeah, we just got away from money. So we started at what? Now you get negative six dollars, and we're already at five hundred. So we are getting money. At a somewhat decent rate. Uh, you gave birth, so you're going to be a release. Um, the gazelles, I'm going to start, really start a family with them. Just to get the number of animals up. Um, I do, I did get a spread tortoise though. Okay, I do have one of those. So that's good. Um, I got one of those. Um, we're not going to go any extinct animals here. Right. Yeah, because like I said, uh, it's I don't I don't really like having the extinct animals in a zoo. You know, I like to go for realism. So we'll keep them out of it for now. I should consider. Well, I do need to create more exhibits, so. Um, we are going to get rid of some of these trees here. Now, this actually gives you a surprisingly good amount of money. All right, so. I don't think any of the other animals I'm really going to worry about breeding. So, it's. So, I'm just going to build a scrub habitat over here. Yeah, we'll make it 600. Here we go. Perfect. Right, then we'll make it scrubby. Increase that a bit. There we are. Like that. Alright, and we'll go ahead and make another fence there. Um, asphalt path here. And here, all right, now we just got to wait for the money to actually buy the creature and the food. So I'm going to need about $2,300 and I can buy this gem stock here. Low risk, all right, but they are in Africa, so they are a good one to have. Uh, moose, however, you are not. So yeah, we just got to wait for everyone to uh, pay me more money. Yeah, once I get the two stars, I'll get some really good items. Like I could get an actual good bathroom so I can get rid of this. What did I, what was that? Oh, extremely research lab. I don't need that. And then I can get that dancing rock. Because then I could get a cheap thing to take care of entertainment for the adults. 
which will be key. And will also be really good. Alright, how's everyone's privacy doing? The only thing I was worried about is the animal's privacy because I'm trying to keep it as educational as possible, which it went up. So, yeah, I got to keep those structures out. Um, your privacy is not that great. And you can't really hide anywhere, so whatever. And you want a companionship, but I think you'll deal with it. Yeah, animal happiness is through the roof. Guest happiness could be better. But we're getting, we're going to work on that. As soon as we get to two stars. Which I'm going to have to do that through animals, I think. Alright, so yeah. Okay, give me donations. I need more donations. Go African Buffalo, $2,500. That's what I'm talking about. All right, how's my other donation boxes doing? Uh, Thompson's Gazelle got me a decent amount, 1,500. All the rest of them are slacking. Camel got me about 1,000. But yeah, everyone else, not, not doing the best. All right, so I will just go ahead and purchase now the uh, food and the water dish. For the next exhibit, we'll go ahead and go hay. Now here's the hard part. Finding grass in Africa. So I guess it would be this brush here. Perfect. Because yeah, that's the hard part is finding things just for their biome. So like this tree, for example, although it is scrub, it's only found in Australia. And I couldn't put that into an African exhibit. It wouldn't be too believable. All right. I know I need to see. It says I can build fountains, but I guess I could build one and see what happens. Build one fountain here. Um, I do have a big one. It's worth 400 bucks, but it's huge. That might be able... Right. Is there any way I could put that? That'll work. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, and they are... It is facing the right way. Because I couldn't move it after, which I don't get. So I'm hoping having this exhibit here will take care of any guest needs. At least in entertainment because that's the only thing lacking is the adult entertainment. Like, like, you know, not amusing enough. So I don't quite get... Well, if you're parched, you get something to drink. Uh, you did. Ah, they toss coins in it. All right, let's see how much that actually works, though. All right, because if you can get a lot of money... Well, not even money, but... If you take care of your... How much did that take away? Ah, uh, actually, not too bad. Okay. I'm okay with that, actually. Yeah, I am okay with that if they toss coins in there. Because it does take care of big chunks of their amusement need. Because then I could just put... The small fountains everywhere. You know, those dancing rocks everywhere. And that would help. And as it stands, I still need a thousand dollars. And the camel's going to give birth. That is good. I still need a... About a thousand before I can get this gem stock. All right, Thompson's gazelle grew to an adult. That is good. Because, like I said, the Thompsons are going to breed like rabbits. So, the more they breed, the better it's going to be. The camel gave birth. That's all excellent. Replenish the food, replenish the roots.
But as long as they're breeding, everything should be good. Man, I, I need two stars though. I need this zoo to hurry up and get the two stars. Because then I'll get a lot more people and a lot more donations coming in. Because one and a half is just not cutting it right now. Hey, was that your favorite animal? No, the bongo is yours. But yeah, a lot of bongo, so that's going to have to be my, probably my next animal is to get that bongo. Ooh, I didn't want to grab you. Hey, why are you not happy? Not amused. That cart made a lot of money though. Over a thousand. Seven hundred thousand. Good. I'm glad. Um, and then at two stars, I could also get, start giving some better food options. I think more variety. And I think that'll make people happier. Alright, I'm almost to the $2,000 mark. Almost. And we'll go female gimstock and right, under a hundred. Almost there. Come on, come on. Come on, thirty-seven dollars, people. There it is. That's what I was looking for. And I receive a nice cash grant. And I'm up to seven species in the park. Which is excellent. You are not part. Alright, the bongo. Now you're actually not too badly priced, Mr. Bongo. So we're going to put you next to these wetlands here. And you might actually be up. Oh, we are at two stars. So I am actually just going to buy these music stones outright. Right, music rocks, they cost a hundred bucks, which is just phenomenal. They are so cheap. All right, we'll put one there. One over here. And we'll throw one over here for good measure. Um, I do need to put... See, that's the problem. As soon as I get money, I gotta spend it on stuff. And I'm gonna have to put... One of those there. Can I move this thing? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Um, get an ash foot path here just to put those like that. Perfect. Make it look a little better. Alright, now I need to build that bongo exhibit. Um, I could... Yeah, I think I'm just going to make this one giant rainforest because there are going to be other animals that could potentially go in the rainforest. Gorillas and monkeys and stuff that I could use. And if at the very least, because the bongos are cheaper, I could use them as an also breeding stock. Just like that, and like that, perfect. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and buy your food. Just branches, and that right there, perfect. All right, so then I just need money again. Um, this also might be time to consider another zookeeper, because I'm starting to get up in animals. So I do have to keep that in mind. So yeah, I think I'm going to let that grow. Get the other game stock. Get the cash advance. Buy another bongo. And then I'll spend any extra money on another zookeeper. Right. So that is the plan. To get the eight animals. Uh, 
Uh, sorry, sea turtle. Oh, you are Africa, though. Reto. I'm not quite sure where you go. I wonder if you're actually grassland. I'll look at you, and I think you're pricey to be, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you cost a pretty penny, yeah. And you're grassland. But you could be something I could buy. Now, I am curious to see what other animals I can get. Ooh, a beluga. Addicts. I'm not sure if you're actually part of this, but we'll look. Right, I only need about $400 left. Yeah, they are look... Yeah, I mean, look at that. African buffalo, $3,000. It's insane how much money this animal's pulling in. I mean, by all means, keep it coming, All right, Addicts, you actually are! Okay. Alright, so you just grew to an, an adult, so I'm actually gonna release you to the wild. Because then that will give my release to wild score up. And that's a permanent increase. You know, that can never go down. So the more animals I release to the wild, the better th my zoo fame is going to be. So you can see it already went up a little bit. So yeah, the more animals I release, the better. So yeah, all these are actually... All these animals are African. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy the two bongos. Yeah, we'll get the two bongos going. And another zookeeper, so I can actually split the sides here. Alright, that should be enough for a female. There's my cash grant. I now have eight species in my zoo. Here's the male part. Right. And then I no longer need the bongo, so I'm gonna trade that try to trade that out. And then I need another hundred dollars to get a second zookeeper. Right, and then I'm going to assign you to this exhibit and this exhibit. And my other zookeeper, who is running like a mad woman there, will take care of this exhibit, this exhibit. Ooh, the Ornix is now pregnant, which is good because that is my endangered species. And then you have three ex exhibits also. And look at that. Look how much money I just gained right there. The more popular the zoo, the definitely the more money you get. So since bongos are some people's favorites, we're going to go ahead and put something there. I'm going to buy... I don't really need another music rock. I think I got enough. Right. What are you doing? Oh, you're dancing. Which is good. So yeah, look at that. Look at that amount of money I got already. So, what can I buy? I don't think I need a horned onyx, right? I have two. So no. I'm going to say no. I don't think I could use a Galapagos turtle. Um, I could go another giraffe, however. Really thirsty, that's no good. And so what I'm actually gonna do is in this exhibit, I think I'm gonna put a small, small, small water hole. Right there. So yeah, that's the only problem is I, I think I held, I delayed too much in getting this zookeeper there. So actually what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to help the zookeeper out by actually putting gates all across there. Alright, what are you doing? You're standing. How about you go over here by the water? And then you can just drink from that. Because then you got a little oasis there. So then what I could do... 
So I can put some palm trees and actually ooh, make it seem like an oasis. Should move that out a little bit. Right. And then I think I'm going to get in here and help the zookeeper a bit. Clean poop and such. So I think the zookeeper is a little overwhelmed right now. Right. Because, yeah, this is one nasty exhibit right here. But to be fair, I do have a lot of animals over here. So there's a small little one. Groom. Wash you. Groom you. Alright, I think we're I think we're back on track. Right. Yeah, I, that, that should be good. Um, you are looking good. Do you have any trees now that you could actually use? Yes, the shepherd's tree. Perfect. Alright, I am at $2,000. Now, what do I want to build next? Now, I could go alligators. As my next animal, which I think I might actually do that. Uh, why are you not happy? Oh yeah, you want stuff to drink. No. Now, in all honesty, I do need... Uh, I do need to spend some money to upgrade some of these facilities, so... For instance, this bathroom, I'm actually going to delete. I'm going to put a family bathroom here now. Like that. And then I could throw in one of these bathrooms over here. Just to kind of alleviate any traffic over here. Right, just like that. Right. Any more types of food stands I could use, though? Yeah, there's a pretzel cart. Um, I could go with a hot dog stand. Or a burger stand, sorry. Right, so we are going to go ahead. I do want to keep it the same theme, so I'm going to have to research something. That's worth 300 That's worth six. Okay, it is still cheaper to research that. Um, that's a fat salad food stand. Uh, water. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the water stand also. So yeah, we'll get the burger stand, the water stand, so it'll give a little bit more variety in the stuff people can buy. Yeah, people should be getting into the bongos. So I will quickly look, see what is... African in nature. None of these are actually African. Nor is that. So I'm going to have to keep stuff out of there. African Buffalo 2 is pregnant again. Which I am okay with. Right, once you are ready. You're going to go there. Research for the burger stand, and then I'm going to get the water stand next. So that people can either get burger, a hot dog, water, or soda. Or what we call it here, pop. And I think I'll hold off on desserts till I actually need it. Right. And so that's all looking good. Now, I do want to have a crocodilia stand. And maybe, uh, no, see, no, I think the Nile crocodile, the Nile monitor, I think, will be eaten by the crocodile. So we're going to have to do that separate. Um, we could do a low chain link fence. It's only worth 50 bucks. Um, right. So I only need one, really. Um, I do want to make this like that. 400. By 300, yeah, it doesn't have to be big. Alright. 
And then we're going to have to wait for the other $350. So whenever that gets here, we can finish off this. Make it a wetland. Almost there. Alright, because then I need $3,000. So unfortunately, that's going to be the long part. Alright, almost there. Almost there. Come on, come on. There we are. Alright, wetland. So I'm going to put this side of it to be the land. Let's just put it all as wetland for now. Make sure we get it all. And then the water, I'm going to put on the other side. So there's somewhere to swim. Right, just like that. We've got to put a little fence in there. I'll put food. $220 for that. Quite pricey. But it'll work. Alright, and then we just wait for the money to roll in for the animal. In the meantime, we will do something like that. We'll move this rock for to here. Like that. New objects of so it I am up to three stars. Uh you're not, you're not. All right. So that looks good. And Thompson's Gazelle 3 is pregnant. That is excellent news. But all right, guys, I think I'm going to be putting in a pause right here. If you guys liked what you watched, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to check me out over at Patreon and support what I'm doing over there. And also check out my Twitter and Facebook page to stay up to date with all the latest news. So I am Yet4455. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.